Bit of an exciting video for today. I am picking up something new for the channel. A couple of videos back, for any of you guys that don't watch the channel like that, I had filmed the video, this one to be exact, where I had mentioned possibly buying that BMW. Well, truth is that day I had gave him the money already and I bought it and it's been a couple months and I'm finally gonna go pick it up just because the 240 is now out of the parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been filming a lot. Um, I, honestly, I didn't even film anything. It's been terrible. I, I just got the car home and I was waiting for one of my sisters to open up the gate or give me the control so I could get inside the house. The car was low on gas, so I was freaking out. Also, we were having issues with the battery. Obviously, the battery is very drained. Hopefully, hopefully we don't need a new battery. And then as soon as I got to the house and I was waiting for them, the car stalled out on me. Or it was just probably me. <laughs> So I've been dealing with that for like the past, I don't even know how long, but I was running around trying to get the battery to start. I tried jump starting it with the truck. It didn't work out. I ended up getting the, the 240s battery, installed it. I got the car to turn on and then I drove it inside. Ah, this car, I already know it's gonna be such a, it's gonna be a bit of a journey for the channel, but I hope you guys can enjoy this series because I know it's gonna suck. I'm going to AutoZone right now. I'm gonna drop off the battery so that they could test it and charge it if it's working. I'm really hoping that the car or that the battery is good. My cousin said he just bought it. It's just it, the car has been sitting so it's lacking charge. But we're hoping for the best. It is the next day. I picked up the battery from AutoZone and we have good news and bad news. The battery doesn't have like a sticker on that shows all the information of the battery. So they couldn't really know where to put the settings at to charge the battery. So when I picked it up, they obviously wanted to test it out. And they, well, they didn't have the settings. So they just kind of put whatever random numbers on and they tested it. And the battery popped up as good battery, but needs to be charged. But it's been charging since yesterday. I don't know if that's something to do with the numbers that they had or if the battery is bad or something, but that's what it said. I figured since the car is now parked inside, I'll give you guys a little walk around around the car. Alrighty, so this is the new car on the channel. It is a 2008 BMW 328i. Obviously it's not a 335 or an M3, so maybe not that interesting, but I feel like it would be a great daily driver vehicle. The next video that I film, we'll probably talk about all the little issues that it has, but overall, I mean, the car is pretty cool. I like these body styles. That's one of the main reasons why I was like, tempted to buy this car because i really do like the e92 coupe models and little fact as a new e92 owner they're expensive all the freaking parts they're really expensive you would think that because it's like a 328i that the parts would be a lot cheaper than the 335 or the m3 but literally all the parts are pretty much the same it's been very expensive well not that i have bought anything but just looking around and stuff it's been pretty expensive that's the front end. It's a bit dirty right now, but we'll wash it soon. Comes with the sunroof. It's like this goldish paint. And something that I'm not too excited about is the interior. It's this brown color. So, I mean, to each their own. I'm not a big fan. It would be a lot cooler if it had like a red interior or a black interior. I think it would match a lot more with the paint, but beggars can't be choosers. Very nice, very clean. The interior, for its age, obviously it has some wear and stuff, but it's not like ripped. It's not really that much bad stuff. The rear seats, well, I mean, as expected, they look pretty good. And we sit inside. Got our double hump. There's a friggin' fly in here. It's a double hump dashboard. Um, so this is like a pro and a con whoever is the owner of the vehicle some people like it some people think it dates the interior i don't really mind it i don't care for it too much um it does look a little bit old like the actual system but it's whatever if there's a way to put apple carplay on here i think it would be like a lot cooler of a it would be like a cool mod to do it i'm not sure if i'd do it but i'm i'm sure there's an option out there but the steering wheel pretty worn out and i guess the best thing about it is it is a stick shift vehicle, which is very nice, very nice. I like it that it's not the wood one. It's just like the silver finish. I think that looks a lot better than the wood. The cup holders, I think they work. They just get stuck. 
They'll be loose. Okay, nice. Bit slow, but it works. And the vehicle has 147,000 miles, which is quite a decent amount. It drives fine for its mileage. It feels, it's actually like a really smooth car, even though there is a bit of an issue, which I'll probably talk about in the next video where we'll talk about all the everything that's wrong with this BMW because there's a lot. And I want to tell you guys all of that so that you guys can look into, maybe if you're in the market for one, you could probably see what the common issues with these vehicles are or just little things to look out for. So that'll be in the next video for today. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little walk around the car. So that is a new car on the channel. I hope you guys like it. Obviously, I know I don't need any more projects. I should probably finish the ones I already have. But the idea behind this car is something that I've been thinking about for a while. And this isn't the right car to be doing that with, but there's three reasons. First one is this car was just sitting on my cousin's house and he wasn't doing anything with it. And so I decided to just take on the responsibility, help him out, get rid of this car. And it had one issue that I wanted to dabble with. So I thought it was perfect. I help him out. I get to try something out. Seems like a nice deal. The second reason why I bought this car is BMW content seems to do really well on YouTube. I tested this theory out with my potential new car for the channel video relative to the size of my channel. The views did pretty good. So it's already kind of proving my theory right. So I hope this car could help out the channel grow a bit. And the third reason is it's an E92. Uh, I really like this chassis. So it was just kind of like a sweeter deal as in to be able to actually buy it and not feel like I'm buying a car that I don't like. I actually like this car, so it would be cool once I finish it to just drive it around for a bit. But that's it for today's video. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to go more in depth into this vehicle, explain the whole plans, explain everything wrong with the car. And so if you want to watch that video, obviously subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of the videos for this BMW series because it already is off to a rough start. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless. Chale